Hey everyone, it's Lady Cree. Thanks for stopping by today. I wanted to come on and share with you a simple, simple, quick DIY project. Okay, so let me share with you some things that I've used. Okay, I pulled out um, these Pebbles pinwheels that I picked up from Tuesday morning. Um, I've had those in my stash a couple of years now. I also used some paper straws that I already had. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I picked those up from Target. I also used um, these wooden dowels that I picked up from Michael's or um, Hobby Lobby. I've had those in my stash for a while as well. I also used a couple of craft bottles that I picked up um, during the Easter time from Dollar Tree. Um, I used um, the remaining of some American Crafts ribbon I had. I can now throw that away. Oh, I'll probably keep it because I have some loose ribbon that I could just put on there for keeping. I also use this sticky thumb, and these are little sticky dots that I pick up from Tuesday morning. I highly suggest you pick those up if you see them. I also use some loose gems, and um, I use some Nouveau glue. Okay, so you all, um, during the holidays, I love to focus on a couple of small areas in my home to um, do some decorating. I love, love, love to decorate, um, but I love to decorate small areas, if you will. And um, so let me share with you what I have put together for um, a small home decor, but let me share with you what inspired me. On the back of this Pebbles packaging, you see a jar with some gems, ribbon, straw, and pinwheel. Uh -huh. <laughs> Everything that I already had, you all. And also, I used some sequins I pulled from my stash and some, um, they were red, white, and blue and some iridescent i also pulled out some buttons and i also use sequins from my sis latasha you all know her as sassy crafty taz 101 king here on the yt hey sassy girl that's my girl i love her and here is what i created you all oh <laughs> isn't it adorable i love it you all yes so what i share with you on the back of that packaging is what totally inspired me for this DIY home decor project for um, the 4th of July. I love it. And as you see here, I mean, this is my sequence mix. All I did was every red, white, and blue sequence I had. Of course, what Latasha blessed me with. Oh, I love it. You see the buttons. Oh, I love it. And so what I did for those wooden dowels is what I used um, on the inside of the straw. And I just um, used my husband's sturdy, hefty pliers to cut the wooden dial. And you all, it's, as you see, it just sits right in there. And I have a small space that I'm going to put that at. You see, I um, just hand tied a bow here. And that's where I use the little sticky dots to adhere it to the jar. Um, I not only made one, but I made another one. Isn't that cute, you all? And I used the gingham because I love gingham and dots. Um, because, you know, it's um, the 4th of July, you think about picnics and you think about, you know, the park and eating and all of that kind of country feel. <laughs> and I love it. Well, you all, I pray that you were inspired by this DIY. If you have um, some things to just decorate some small areas of your home, pull it out and do so. Um, I love, love, love to do that. And I mean, just it doesn't take much at all. And as you see here, everything that you saw on the back of that Pebbles package that had those pinwheels in there, I already had it. So you've already purchased the thing. So guess what, you all? Use it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know I love using my stuff and stuff that people bless me with as well. So, yeah, I love what I've created, you all. And I'm going to put these two um, little um, DIY sequin pinwheel jars that I've created in a small space that I have for decor. 
All right, you all. Until next time, I love you. Be encouraged. Be blessed. And I'm going to leave Latasha's link in the description box below as well so that you can go over and be inspired by her amazing creations. I love you, sis. And I love y'all. Bye. <laughs>